Welcome to Morning Matters. It's one of those bleaky days in Belize. But guess what? It's still a beautiful day. Good morning to you, Drew. How are you? Good morning, Rhonda. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I can't complain. I mean, if I mean, we have we all have things to complain about, but we all have so much more to be thankful about that it's not even worth complaining. I think so. I think too many people just complain about the little stuff that doesn't matter and let it ruin their day. Definitely. We can't afford for that to happen to us. I agree. So what's your matter this morning? I don't Where know. You did you get then? something on this car? It's sticky over here. Sticky? Sticky. What do you mean sticky? I mean my elbow sticks to it. Maybe your elbow is like sugary. What were you doing last night? <laughs> Definitely not putting sticky stuff on the door <laughs> of the car. That would not make for anything. Anyway, any matters you have this morning? No, no, no. Um, I did get an email on a topic, though, that I thought might be appropriate. Okay, what was the email? What can you tell me what you know about parental alienation syndrome? You know, definitely that term had to have been created in America. <laughs> <laughs> you see... That's true. Because in... If you know, can isolate a problem, you get to name it. Yes. Parental alienation syndrome is something that occurs typically in a divorce situation, but they don't have to be divorced. But it's where one parent has such um, negative feelings and anger or hatred towards the other parent that when they speak to the child, they're always saying negative and uh, anger and hateful feelings are being portrayed to the child about the other parent to the point where eventually the child takes on those same issues and same feelings and anger and hatred but the child doesn't know why it's just because that's what the other parent says and it can be very detrimental I mean it's horrible I mean think about the child that grows up hating their parent their mother or father but if somebody really points it out and says why it would all boil down to what the other parent said about them and you know drew that is a very important thing as parents we have to be responsible with our children our relationships with the spouses did not fail because of those children and we do the children a great injustice when you say oh you know your mother is this or you know your father is this that is what that person is to you that is not necessarily what that person would be to his or Correct. her child and when you continuously put that in the person's mind you're poisoning the person against the child against the parent but not only that you are also deteriorating a relationship that could be beautiful yes so you're scarring those children and what can happen when the child reaches adulthood and realizes what happened you know it can be reversed now they are angry and hate the other parent for Lying to them. Lying to them and, and brainwashing them as such. And you know, I know that's a case that is just like that. Exactly like that. And now she does not speak to her mother. Because, because her mother talked bad about the father or when she was little? Because her mother pretended that the father didn't even exist. Oh. Well, that's a little bit different. That's a little but, bit extreme. But it's still the same result. Yeah. You know, well... I urge people, especially when you are in a relationship or when you leave the relationship more so, don't talk bad about the father of your child or about the mother of your child because those children will grow up to be adults and they will create their own impression or their own idea of what or who their mother or their father is. They will. And, allow and that's them the way it should be. Exactly. Yes. You need to allow them that opportunity. Um, if we teach our children to think independently and healthy thoughts, then they will always make good decisions. 
I think. Let's hope. I very much think so. Any matters now, sir? No, it's just something I wanted to get off my chest. But that's a good topic. That's a definitely a good topic. Um, and I, I, you know, I assume it probably happens in Belize. It happens all over the world, Drew. Love and emotions are powerful things, you know. And when you get yourself involved in that kind of living and you start to hate somebody like that, it's hard to see anything otherwise. I always give thanks, though, that I am not... I don't, I can't remember what you did to me long enough to be able to hate you for it. I just know I shouldn't mess with you. Yeah. You don't remember exactly what was said, but the feeling's still there. Yes. I know I shouldn't deal with you, or I know I shouldn't deal with him, or whatever the case is. But I don't get to the point where I hate you that every time I see you, I am really upset and you own my day. I am grateful that I'm not one of those persons. And if you are, you have to find a way to get out of that because he who angers you owns you. You don't want to be owned like that. Yeah, why would you want that to control your day? Or your life. Or your life. All right. Let's see what we're doing here now. Wait, wait. I'm an old lady. Let me get the, everything in order. How's that? Time for some matters, Drew. Time. That's right. I have to ask you this before we get into the matters. Please like us on Facebook. The page is called Morning Matters. When you like us on Facebook, please go to our page and say where in the world you are looking at Morning Matters from. Please. Yes, yes. We are getting a few notes from Trinidad. And uh, actually, a picture was sent of somebody watching the show in Trinidad. Yes, I need to say good morning to the people at Dave's Furniture World. It was uh, Mrs. Vasquez that went to Trinidad. Oh, really? And she posted it up. Um, She's like, I can't get away from you. doesn't matter where I am. She was in Trinidad looking at Morning Matters. So good morning to you, Mrs. Vasquez. And the entire staff there at Dave's Furniture World. All right. My ex-fiance is an American of seven years. He had issues before he went back to Chicago with my eight-year-old. We went back, but my parents don't agree. I don't understand your issue. Well, I, it's not very I wouldn't clear. worry about what your parents say at this point. It's your life, you and your child's life. It's You need to do what you feel is best for you and your child. Morning. I am in love with a man that has his family. He can't really spend time with me. You know, he wait, 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 stop city. right there. Stop right there. You, you know, the way they phrase these uh, issues is I have this man who has his family. Why don't you just say I'm having an affair with a married man? I agree with you, but is it okay if I finish reading the text? Okay, now came? you can go. Let's let's just call a spade a spade. Morning. I'm in love with a man that has his family. He can't really spend time with me. He works in the city, but I live in a village, and we only get. And we can only get off the bus and spend an hour or two before he has to leave. But I love him. What can I do? Leave him. You are a vacation, a mini vacation resort to him. You know, and while you might think you love he him. He has his life and family in the city and takes care of that. And when he can sneak away and go on vacation with you, that's what he does. And while you are giving him 100%, he'll giving you 1%. And yes. if you are, and the time that you're giving him your 100%, you will never find true love because you're investing all your resources in a place where it will not yield any returns. Yeah, why love something that's not loving you in return? Yes, and you might feel like the little affection and attention that he gives for the short time is something, but it's nothing compared to what you can really have. I have two sons, but only one of my sons is for my husband, and we're together for about 17 years, and he thinks that two of them are his. I can't tell him, and I want to let my son know. You have to tell I, him. I don't know how you can avoid it. You have to tell him, but Because your son certainly needs to know. He needs to know. Um, the lie is too big to hide. You know, the lie should have been dissolved a long time ago but what if you're in the states i could say you go to the jerry springer show tell him on the show don't tell him on the show <laughs> what you need to do though is first identify who the father of your son really is and make sure that you can prove it because you might not be sure of anything 
you might be assuming in all angles you might have made a bad decision at some point in time that causes you to think that this man is the father of your child but guess what if you weren't having relations with the man that you are now married to you would not have he would not have assumed that he too is the father of the child so from the sound of this both of them can be the child why don't you prove who is the father of the child first before you go and blow things out of proportion yes yeah that yeah you better have that answer in writing yeah don't don't say you're not the father, but I don't know who is. Or Tom Jones is the father, and then you go to Tom Jones, and he says, well, I didn't father any child with you. This yeah. is John's child. I'm sterile. Exactly. So you need to be sure who the father is, and word of mouth. Obviously, your word is the best word to take at this point in time, since you've lied for 17 years. So you have to prove it in black and white. You know, you have a lot to deal with. You'll have to deal with your son. You'll have to deal with your husband. You will have to deal with your second son as well because you have lied to everybody in the family. Yeah, that's a big lie. Right? But first, but first go talk to God. Well, you definitely have to talk to God, but he has to get it. she has to get her facts in order. Facts is important. I am married. Separated for four years and dating. No, my girlfriend is now pregnant. No, my wife wants me back. Any advice? You already made your decision that's right you so know. what if the way i you know i don't know why you left or why she kicked you out or what the circumstances were but why go back down that road you already started a new life it always amazes me when they say well you know tom jones want me back you know mary wants me back you know john wants me back yeah, well, what do you want what do you want because that is like saying, oh, you know, the man down the street called me and asked me to jump off the building, you know. But he wants me to jump off the building, so yeah. I can't tell him no. <laughs> you, so you go and jump off the building? No, He says don't. it'll be a fun ride. Exactly, and you know you're going to die. So don't worry about what anybody else wants. But from the sound of this, you don't know what you want. Because if you were sure what you wanted, you would not be in this predicament. You would not have sent your text to us and say your wife wants you back. Obviously, you still want to be back with your wife. But guess what? You know, there's too much that has happened and there's too much happening in your life at this point in time for you to even consider that option. If you were single and she was single and both of you wanted to try again, then fine, fair enough. But you have a child on the way. You have a woman that I would assume love you or you must have some love for. And it's a complicated situation. This hopefully will teach you to live by your decisions. So sit down. Think about the decisions that you want to make for the future and start making them, making them as open and as honest as you can all the time. That's the only way to live a full life. True. You know, keep it real and you need to start keeping it real with yourself first. You know, I agree. Sometimes people think, oh, I am going to make this one lie or this one trick. You're not tricking nobody other than yourself. You're fooling yourself. And in that process, you're hurting yourself. Will you turn off the go, Mr. Jones? Well, you know, I think before we go, we got to get a shot of the flooding there where the those of you that have been to the Ruta Maya race in the past, where it used to be in Burrell Boom, that whole area down there is flooded. The river definitely has come up a whole lot. Let's go see what we have here. All right, Drew. This one says, morning. My husband said that he was at work. Later, I found out that he was in Belize. Next day, a woman texts me saying that she was with him all night. What should I do? I would show the text to your husband and say, what is this about? Well, yeah, and when happens when your husband say, well, it wasn't me. I don't know who she's talking about. She must have the wrong number. You know, that happened all the time, babe. So, well, let's call her and talk to her and put her on speakerphone. Suppose she lies. Just let's just say that there is a vindictive woman out there that would create a well, story like this and, and lie. It's possible. But my thing is, how would she know that you weren't home? But the only reason she would do it is because he was probably doing something he shouldn't have been doing to begin with. Yeah. So there is something not completely 100%. So I would, li yeah, I would listen to his story and go from there. So right, this is Morning Matters. What we're going to do, we're going to take a quick break and we will be back. When you think of the largest selection of sporting goods, you must think of Midway Limited. Musical instruments, Midway Limited. The largest selection of guitar strings, Midway Limited. At Midway Limited, you get high quality soccer boots, footballs, basketballs, billiards, mixing boards, guitars, violins, drums, 
tennis rackets, fishing poles, and a wide assortment of electronics. Midway Limited is the authorized dealers for Martin & Company, JBL Speakers, and Roland Instruments in Belize. Midway Limited, it's your one-stop shop for electrical, musical, and sporting equipment. Visit Midway Limited on Center Road in Spanish Lookout or give us a call at 823-0095. Desde Colombia y de la compañía que produjo Café Buen Día, presentamos Gris 100% Puro Café Colombiano, elaborado en una de las mejores regiones cafetaleras del mundo. Gris 100% Puro Café Colombiano es liofilizado para mantener y preservar el delicado sabor y aroma del puro café colombiano. Gris 100% Puro Café Colombiano, la combinación perfecta para la taza de café que solo tú mereces. Buenos días con Grace, 100% puro café colombiano. Para recetas visita gracerecetas.com. Es el momento para Grace. Seaboard Marine, a leader in ocean transportation, is now offering services to Belize. Offering the fastest and most reliable transit to Belize, Seaboard Marine is the number one choice for shipping. We offer shipping of less than container loads, such as boxes, barrels, and chilled cargo. Full dry and refrigerated containers, project cargo, heavy and special equipment, vehicles, and more. We have sailings from Canada, Houston, New Orleans, Miami, the Caribbean, Central and South America. Seaboard Marine offers the most competitive rates with a fast and dependable shipping schedule. Excellent customer service, and a convenient location with plenty of parking. Visit our office, website, or call us for more information. Marie Sharp's Fine Foods. You've come a long way, lady. A true Belizean original for over 30 years. Winner of many prestigious awards, such as the Food and Beverage Food Award from the Anuga Food Show in Germany, the Fiery Food Show, and many others. From Belize to China and Japan, from Germany and the UK to the USA, you can choose with confidence your favorite Marie Sharp's red and green hot habanero pepper sauces. How about our just juicy fruit juices? Marie Sharp's jams, jellies, exotic tamarind based steak sauce. Belizean seasonal, green mango chutney, snacks, as well as our popular red and green pepper jellies. All mouth-watering, all delicious, all natural and free of sodium benzoate preservatives. And HACCP certified. Marie Sharp Fine Foods, proud products of Belize. Build your future with Belize's leading development finance institution, DFC. We finance development projects in sectors of education, housing, agriculture and agro-processing, manufacturing, tourism, small and micro-enterprise, and much more, all at affordable interest rates and flexible repayment terms. We also offer free in-house property valuations, free sound financial and technical guidance for projects, affordable building and life insurance coverage under DFC's group insurance scheme, and more. So what are you waiting for? Take advantage of DFC's efficient delivery of loans and related services and get a step closer to building your future. Visit any of our nearest offices for additional information or call us at 822-2350 or 822-2360. DFC, realizing Belizean dreams, your partner in development. Looking for quick and easy baking? Try Grace Baking Powder. It comes in a convenient 10 gram packet. Grace Baking Powder. Great for my pancakes, waffles, fry jack, flour tortillas, muffins, waffles. Wow! How quick and easy! Grace Baking Powder. So convenient, easy to store, you love it! It's good enough and fresh whenever you need it. Another fine product brought to you by Grace. For recipes, go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace. Bringing good taste to life. Whether it's your life you're trying to sweeten or someone else's, make it Moho Chocolate. At Moho Chocolate, we produce the finest quality chocolate. All the cocoa used by Moho Chocolate is sourced from over 120 farmers from southern Belize. We produce chocolate bars, chocolate truffles, mini chocolate squares in several flavors, and organic cocoa powder. 
We also have gift baskets. The next time you eat chocolate, make sure it's Moho chocolate. Visit us at any of our three locations in Tourism Village in Belize City, in San Pedro, or in the Departure Lounge at the International Airport. When you think chocolate, think Moho chocolate. Whichever suits you better, Grace Coconut Milk is your best choice for taste. Good as homemade, only more convenient. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Good morning. Welcome back to Morning Matters. We're on a drive. I hope you enjoy the little ride with us. We are just uh, cruising through Rhonda's old stomping grounds. Right. Burrell Boom. Yeah, it's close to Maybe Rhonda. someday we'll do a one for my old stomping grounds. Hopefully soon. When it's, well, let's hope it's not that would snowing. Be, that would start a story in the little village. <laughs> let's hope it's not snowing there. Oh, it'd be fun to do it in the snow. Wouldn't people here like to see you standing in two feet of snow? I don't care what people here would like to see. I wouldn't want to be standing in two feet of snow. All right? I have a married woman. She have her husband, and I want to stop. And she said, oh, you don't really want to stop moving right along. Stop? Or tell her to get divorced? Why is it that when men are separated from their children, they don't find time for their children? They think that the little maintenance they send is all that they should do. I don't know. I, I can only speak from my personal experience, but I love spending time with my kids. And if they don't see it as a privilege, although I will say sometimes sometimes and you need to check yourself on this it just becomes too much trouble the the mother makes it as difficult as possible for the father to see the kids well I no you can't come till after three and then he gets there at three and she's gone with the kids and oh I'll be there in a half hour um, and I playing games with the kids or he gets over there and all she wants to do is spend time talking to him and won't let him leave. And I understand that, but I think as a responsible father, it is your duty to fight her for time as much as she fights you for maintenance. Um, exactly. 
And that's, I mean, I'm not saying this woman's like that, but apparently she she would like makes it available. Some of this woman makes it available. And but if you, you need to make it easy as well. Yes, and if you're making it easy and available and he's not taking it, there is nothing you can do. I think a lot of people don't take it sometimes it's because they're irresponsible. They don't want that responsibility. They couldn't wait for you to break up so now they don't have to help babysit. They don't have to watch the kids. They don't want to spend with the kids. A lot of guys are like that. It could be. You know, and it's so unfortunate, but that is just their reality. It could be. They just don't. They don't know how to handle kids and don't. Don't want the mess. And they feel like if they're paying you $200 a month or whatever maintenance, that includes everything. And they don't understand that it's not about the money, it's about the time and growing with your children. But one yes. day they will understand. And I would think most mothers would enjoy just ha having the free time. Go stay with your dad for the weekend and they get the weekend to go do what they want. This one says, hmm, let's see what we have here. Hmm. It says, I cheated on my husband and now I regret it because the guy that I am with has changed. <laughs> <laughs> They're all looking. That's a serious set. They expected us to stop. All right. The guy that I am with has changed. My husband still wants me back and the kids wants us together. My kids don't like my boyfriend. My kids, however, were living in separate houses. What should I do? It's three years since I left. I'm not sure how old the children are, but why? You mean separate houses, as in his and hers? I think the boyfriend is living in a different house from her and her children. The hus she's and the husband has separated. She has a boyfriend now, and the boyfriend is. She probably cheated on no. I think what happened was that she cheated on her husband with the man that she's now with, except that she has not started to live with him. They've that is her she's boyfriend. She's still living at home. She's living in her own home. He is living in his own home, but they are a couple. What about the husband? He's gone. Oh, she kicked he, him He out. left because she cheated. Oh, okay. But now the man that she cheated with has changed into possessive and jealous. And I, you might think I assume that, but I read the rest of her text. She sent the second text to say that. Um, I don't know that going back to your husband is the answer. I think that yeah, you, it's not either or. You, yeah. There's other options behind that. How about just staying on your own for a while? Exactly. Be, near, or be your own person. You don't have to be with a man because you decided that you cheated with him. Your husband put you out and now you can be on your own. Being on your own is a beautiful thing, you know. Take time to spend with your children. Grow your children. Raise your children. Enjoy your children. But also, if you can manage it, have a decent relationship with the father of your children so that they can see both of you happy. You don't have to be together. But when you talk about the children, you talk about them in a respectable, responsible way and keep it going from there. Yes. You know, you don't have to stay with the man you're with. You know, you made a bad decision. Don't continue to make another bad decision based on your first bad decision. You know, it's not hell. You don't have to punish yeah. it like it was hell. Yeah, start making right decisions. Exactly. Good morning. Good morning. I have my boyfriend, but I want to know how long I should wait before I have sex. Why don't you wait until you get married to him? No, ideally, that would ideally, be best. That would be the best thing that you can do is to wait until you get married to him. When you decide to have children, that's when you should have sex. You know, sex is not a trivial thing, you know. Today's society... Does it say how old she is? No. A lot of today's society treats sex as such a trivial thing. It's a giving a big part of yourself to somebody in such an unselfish way. And... A lot of times you don't realize that until it is too late. It is not about that feeling that you get for 5 minutes or 10 minutes or 30 minutes depending on where you are or how you are. Um, it is giving of yourself in its entirety in I, a big way. That's what I, the, these young people that are having sex, I think that's what they don't understand. Yeah. There's some emotional issues that they have to deal with when they're going through that that they aren't mature enough to deal with that for the most part yes so if you are not comfortable with having sex then you then don't have sex don't let anybody come to you and say well you know mary jane if you really love me you'd give it to me no if you really love me you wouldn't ask me for it yes 
you know if you really love me you'd have been asking me to marry me you'd have been trying to take me out to places and spend time so you can learn the real me and not just the physical me the physical you generally stays intact for a very long time and people can see the physical you they don't have to talk to you much to know you're 130 pounds they don't have to talk to you much to know that you're five feet seven inches tall you know, but they have to talk to you to see if they want to be with you beyond the physical. Right. And that is what dating should be about, not about the sex. So don't have yeah, sex with the Because that's only a short period during the day. Or what are you gonna, what are you gonna do the rest of the day? Yeah, what are you what are you gonna talk about if you can't talk? What are you gonna laugh about? The sex you just had? No. It's not worth your hassle. Good morning. What advice would you give a guy who already married but another young lady wants to step in? You know what? Everybody phrases it like that. Like their decision is based off what somebody else wants. And they somehow have some obligation to respond to that. Tell the girl, no, you're happily married and go away. Exactly. Or leave your wife and go with her. But I wouldn't advise that. No, 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 but you have to make a decision that will benefit you. And if you're not happy in your marriage, then leave your marriage. But don't cheat on your wife or cheat on yes. your husband. It's not worth the hassle. Do not leave your spouse thinking you're going to have a better life somewhere else. If you leave your spouse, leave them for who they are and that the relationship can't work. Good. Completely agree with you. What must I do? I found a guy that shows me all that I am missing from my husband, but I can't find it to leave my husband. Then that is the 80 20 rule. Well, you're worried about what's missing. What about what's in the marriage? Good point. You may take this other person, and yeah, they may feel what's missing in your marriage, but you'll find other things missing in the new relationship. That is the 80 20 rule. You are willing to latch on to the 20 and leave the 80. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, and also, you have to remember that every relationship in its initial stage is glorious. It's beautiful, it's fun, it's Everybody's intense. on their best behavior. Yes. So, if you are not willing to give up your marriage, stop seeing this boy. Because your husband will find out what you are doing and leave you and you will lose. You will have no choice. Yes, or you will have a choice. And this boy can only be with you because you're married. He doesn't want to settle down and as soon as you're get all clingy because you don't have a husband anymore he's ready to go find another married woman because that might be his style all right i have a boyfriend for two years but he never have money and he is working just like me he always wants me to give him everything I, why do you have to give him anything you're not buying his love you, 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 I, I, he should be able to support himself and you should be able to support yourself now, me personally, I think when you first start going out and that, yeah, the guy generally pays for stuff. But then if it becomes a serious relationship, everybody pitches in and... I think so. I think if the guy is, if there is no reciprocity, and I always say this, if there is no reciprocity in your relationship, then your relationship is not a good relationship. If he has a job and you have a job and it's always you go within your purse, then you don't need this brother. This brother is in your life for convenience. You know, if if both of you are a serious couple and you decide that the money that you make will be for entertainment and the money that he makes will be for both of you to save together as a team, then I can understand that too. But the money has to come together in some shape, form or fashion. Yes. You can't always be the one spending on him by the same token. He can't always be the one spending on you because there are a lot of women out there that will not spend on their on their spouse in any respect. And as soon as he stops spending, he's gone. So what yeah. is good for the goose is good for the gander. And that's probably what you, sh you should do. Stop. I mean, part of a relationship is you depend on them in time of need and that. But if you're just giving money just because he says, hey, babe, I'm going out. Can I have 50 bucks? I would say stop that and don't give him any more money and see if he sticks around. Or better than that, sometimes you And say, you'll find out why he's really there. Or say to him, look, I'll lend you $100 until you get paid this weekend. When you get this paid this weekend, I want my $100. You know what that will do? 
he won't borrow any more money until he can pay back that loan. Yeah, that's so true. So that will stop him immediately. Look, babe, I can't give you $100. I can lend you $100. Yeah. And if he don't pay you back... But I need it back because I got to pay me rent. Exactly. So you have... Compromise is everything. If you feel like he's riding you, the only person that can stop him riding you is you. You know, give him a loan. Not because he asks his means that he must get. My parents used to always say, not because you ask for something means you're going to get it. Morning, my come Lord cheated on me until I gave up. That I am thinking, that I am taking him to court, now he wants. I drop it. He said he is willing to change for his children. Well, child, he cheated on you and now you're taking him to court. If you cheat, if he, the only reason that he wants you to drop whatever case you're taking to court is his word. Because he doesn't want his butt dragged through court. But guess what? Obviously, his track record has shown that his word, his word is not good for anything. So do what is best for you, emotions aside. But here's something to, to consider. He can't just come to you and say, I want to stop this. I want, I'm, I'm changed, man, and, and we'll do it. He needs to have true remorse and really ask for your forgiveness on a serious note first before he can just say oh i'm sorry and i'll i'll be better it's i'm a so changed hard, man though, Drew, sometimes to tell just by words if somebody is really sorry oh i you, think you can tell if you, you really, there's some oh please me, I, it's hard for me to tell i'm telling you from first hand experience but they have to ask for forgiveness you obviously and admit their wrongs boy you know here if you obviously where have you been living <laughs> oh you have definitely not dated a man clearly you have never dated a man Men, let me tell you some experience I have had with them. They come, they cry cooking oil. No, no, no eye drops, you know, and not eye water, cooking oil. Impossible to cry cooking oil, right? Well, these brothers, they cry cooking oil. And they tell you how sorry they are. They're down on their knees. I won't do it again. Please forgive me. It's only you I love. As soon as the tears dry, they're back to them old self. Hmm. So, no. Sounds action. like they have some... Emotional issues. No, not emotional issues. They have great acting skills. <laughs> That's all they do. They, they, and it's true. And I hate to sound like a crazy woman, but I'm telling you, you can't trust somebody based on the words that come out of their mouth. Well, I, I, I will admit that, but that's a start. And then they have to start showing. What if I was already that they've changed in their remorse? Okay. I love a man, but I'm not single. Please help me. Then you can love him. You can love him from a distance, but you can't be in love with him. You know? I love eating cookies, but that doesn't mean I'm going to marry it. Yes. <laughs> and the only time, and it only makes it worse when you do spend time together. Because then you miss him more and more and more. The sooner you start getting, out of, getting him out of your life, the sooner you can start focusing on your current family and relationship and you know drew it people i don't think they realize how much they hold themselves back when they have two and three people in their lives because you can't do any one thing complete you st a little percentage here a little percentage there a little percentage over yonder if you i think it's just selfish because all you're doing is is sucking all the the touchy-feely emotions off the surface but you know what? It might seem selfish, but I think they're being ridiculously crazy because they're not giving themselves the opportunity to experience the wholeness well, of a relationship. I don't think they see that. That's unfortunate that they don't see that they're not giving themselves. They will never get an entire functioning relationship at that rate. At least I don't think. This is Morning Matters. What we're going to do, we're going to take a break and we come back. We'll be coming back with our third and final segment. When you think of the largest selection of sporting goods, you must think of Midway Limited. Musical instruments, Midway Limited. The largest selection of guitar strings, Midway Limited. At Midway Limited, you get high quality soccer boots, footballs, basketballs, billiards, mixing boards, guitars, violins, drums, 
tennis rackets, fishing poles, and a wide assortment of electronics. Midway Limited is the authorized dealers for Martin & Company, JBL Speakers, and Roland Instruments in Belize. Midway Limited, it's your one-stop shop for electrical, musical, and sporting equipment. Visit Midway Limited on Center Road in Spanish Lookout or give us a call at 823-0095. Desde Colombia y de la compañía que produjo Café Buen Día, presentamos Gris 100% Puro Café Colombiano, elaborado en una de las mejores regiones cafetaleras del mundo. Gris 100% Puro Café Colombiano es liofilizado para mantener y preservar el delicado sabor y aroma del puro café colombiano. Gris 100% Puro Café Colombiano. La combinación perfecta para la taza de café que solo tú mereces. Buenos días con Grace. 100% puro café colombiano. Para recetas visita graceresetas.com Es el momento para Grace. Seaboard Marine, a leader in ocean transportation, is now offering services to Belize. Offering the fastest and most reliable transit to Belize, Seaboard Marine is the number one choice for shipping. We offer shipping of less than container loads, such as boxes, barrels, and chilled cargo. Full dry and refrigerated containers, project cargo, heavy and special equipment, vehicles, and more. We have sailings from Canada, Houston, New Orleans, Miami, the Caribbean, Central and South America. Seaboard Marine offers the most competitive rates with a fast and dependable shipping schedule, excellent customer service, and a convenient location with plenty of parking. Visit our office, website, or call us for more information. Marie Sharp's Fine Foods. You've come a long way, lady. A true Belizean original for over 30 years. Winner of many prestigious awards, such as the Food and Beverage Food Award from the Anuga Food Show in Germany, the Fiery Food Show, and many others. From Belize to China and Japan, from Germany and the UK to the USA, you can choose with confidence your favorite Marie Sharp's red and green hot habanero pepper sauces. How about our just juicy fruit juices? Marie Sharp's jams, jellies, exotic tamarind based steak sauce. Belizean seasonal, green mango chutney, snacks, as well as our popular red and green pepper jellies. All mouth-watering, all delicious, all natural and free of sodium benzoate preservatives. And HACCP certified. Marie Sharp Fine Foods, proud products of Belize. Build your future with Belize's leading development finance institution, DFC. We finance development projects in sectors of education, housing, agriculture and agro-processing, manufacturing, tourism, small and micro-enterprise, and much more, all at affordable interest rates and flexible repayment terms. We also offer free in-house property valuations, free sound financial and technical guidance for projects, affordable building and life insurance coverage under DFC's group insurance scheme, and more. So what are you waiting for? Take advantage of DFC's efficient delivery of loans and related services and get a step closer to building your future. Visit any of our nearest offices for additional information or call us at 822-2350 or 822-2360. DFC, realizing Belizean dreams, your partner in development. Looking for quick and easy baking? Try Grace Baking Powder. It comes in a convenient 10 gram packet. Grace Baking Powder. Great for my pancakes, waffles, fry jack, flour tortillas, muffins, waffles. Wow! How quick and easy! Grace Baking Powder. So convenient, easy to store, you love it! It's good enough and fresh whenever you need it. Another fine product brought to you by Grace. For recipes, go to gracerecipes.com. It's time for Grace. Grace. Bringing good taste to life. Whether it's your life you're trying to sweeten or someone else's, make it Moho Chocolate. At Moho Chocolate, we produce the finest quality chocolate. All the cocoa used by Moho Chocolate is sourced from over 120 farmers from southern Belize. We produce chocolate bars, chocolate truffles, mini chocolate squares in several flavors, and organic cocoa powder. 
We also have gift baskets. The next time you eat chocolate, make sure it's Moho chocolate. Visit us at any of our three locations in Tourism Village in Belize City, in San Pedro, or in the Departure Lounge at the International Airport. When you think chocolate, think Moho chocolate. Whichever suits you better, Grace Coconut Milk is your best choice for taste. Good as homemade, only more convenient. Grace, bringing good taste to life. Welcome back to the third and final segment of Morning Matters. How are you doing, Mr. Drew? Muy bien. Randini. I have to ask, right? Because we all have jobs. Or we've all had jobs in the past. And we've all... Most of us. ...learned something from our jobs. I'd have to ask, what is your greatest lesson that you've learned from Morning Matters, from being on Morning Matters so far? It's made me aware of some of the problem a lot of the problems that people are having that that if they just sit back and quiet the noise and quiet their mind and really focus on what surfaces and what answers surface within themselves they know what the answer is they just don't have the courage or the strength to go through with it did it help you with any of your own matters absolutely ah what a story sir joke is joke you tell it now this is morning matters <laughs> hi yeah yeah sex is the first thing in a relation is not the first thing in a relationship someone some one is out there for you from god it says why would a married man want a married woman for a sweetheart he shows a lot of interest in me why would a oh. married woman want a married man for a sweetheart? I would think that'd be perfect. Because they both have their... If you have a single person or a single sweetheart, that single sweetheart has a lot of idle time. Why would you want a sweetheart, period? So to get a sweetheart as married, then, you know, he doesn't have to worry so much about entertaining her all the time when he has, needs to be with his family. But my question is, why do you need a sweetheart? Well, that wasn't the question. Yeah, but that's my question. Why would you need a sweetheart any at all? As a married man you or a married her? woman, you don't need a sweetheart. All right? Morning. What have you learned in all these years of Morning Matters? 
learned a lot of things, but I have learned that the spoken word is powerful. I've also learned that you can't be in a place where you preach one thing and practice something else. And that is important. Um, you know, I, I am not perfect. I definitely continue to struggle with myself to make myself a little better person each and every day. I have my followers like everybody else. But it also has made me very aware of of people, you know, like their feelings and their emotions and 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 just more I think I understand life a little bit better. I would hope so. You know? And and the importance of being honest. I mean we it's it seems so like a normal thing that you should do but when you listen to people situation you realize that it all stems from them not being honest with themselves first because if you're honest with yourself first and not being afraid to to stand up for the decision that you make if i don't want to be with you i should be brave enough to say drew this is not working out goodbye as opposed to lie to you then lie to myself and then now i have to cheat in my mind so those are some of the things that i have become very aware of and I mean, I continue to learn every day, you know. And As we should. You know, I mean, I don't sit here. Everybody should have a goal of learning at least one new thing for the day. Yes, and it's important to become aware. It causes you to be, to live a more fuller life, I think. All right, let's get right into the matters, Mr. True, now that you've asked that. Ay, 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 ay. I cheated on my wife, and the next girl I am moving in with starts to cheat on me what should i do <laughs> you know what if i had an extra hand i clap it for you too uh, uh, you deserve exactly uh, what you get bring your lip right here <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um i'd have to say congratulations yeah there is no sympathy in my mind for you you did if there if there is a perfect payback god gave it to you what you sow so shall you reap and you reaped it in flying colors well done i hope you learned your lesson you should have never cheat on your wife. And just like you said, if you cheat with me, you will cheat on me. So don't think you're special when the man comes to you and says, Well, you know my wife giving me a whole lot of trouble. Or you know my husband giving me a whole lot of trouble. No, 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 no. It is their cheating ways showing up. Don't make any excuse for it. Yeah, they, ha they have to have an excuse. They aren't going to come and say, Hey, I just want to go fool around. I'm, my marriage is fine. I just want to have something on the side. Yeah. Very few will say that. Say so they'll they'll pull the oh poor me. Good morning. My husband, fifty two, left eighteen months ago, and I took a twenty four year old. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Good half, morning. My husband, fifty two, left eighteen months ago, and took a twenty four year old. Oh, he took a twenty four year old. Yes, it looks like. I, first, I thought she was the one that took the 24-year-old and took a 24-year-old. She is now... She, okay. She now has a four-month-old four baby. He moved back 15 times. I am trying to move on, but I don't have a job and I do not socialize. I am 45. Any suggestions? He moved back 15 times in 18 months? She allowed months? him 15. Times to come back in the house. Is this before the 18 month or since during the 18 months? In a, even in one relationship, well, the relationship I, lasted I 20 agree. years and the man moved in and out. But I would times. say if, if he's been out for 18 months, leave him out. If, if you've let him in and out for 18 months, stop it. I think she justifies taking him back because she says she doesn't have a job and she doesn't go out and socialize. Guess what? If you know what your problems are, you're on the right road to fixing them. You know, Get a job. And this goes into a whole new realm of philosophy, I guess. If you're only bringing the man in because he's feeding you and clothing you and you have to give up a little sex, what makes the difference between you and the prostitute on the street? Yeah, if you're only with him because... The only reason you take him back in is because he can afford to financially take care of you. Then you should look at the decisions that you continue to make for yourself. 
that's not a good thing to do. He will continue to abuse you because he's paying for it in cash. I say get up tomorrow morning and go job hunting. You might say, well, I don't have any skills. Guess what? The ones with the least skills still have skill. Everybody knows, and not everybody because, you know, some people don't know, but everybody, most people can cook, they can sew, they can wash. If you can, can run a household, you, you can, can find a job. do something somewhere. Yes. Okay, morning. I want your help. We live 29 years and not married. Why? Because he always cheating. I have five kids with him. What would you advise? Well, it's too late now. Wait, let me just. I, I would say, why said. would you want to get married at this point? Okay, and then, it's, then she says another one. She says, I was. Hmm. This one says, and now I was planning to leave the U.S. because the other day I read a text that another woman texted him. If you never left her in a 29 years because you physically know that he cheated, why would you leave him now because of a text? Yeah, well, I don't know. She's just saying they're not married. But that is like Which, married. They live together 29 years. Well, yeah, years. you might as well have gotten married. But you, I guess technically you are married. Technically they are. Well, not technically. Technically, they are not married. But by, but by law standards, they are married. By everybody's eyes, they're married. Maybe not God's, but... Yeah. I would say if you have lived... Well, I no, I take that back. I mean, you've obviously been committed to each other in some form or fashion for 29 years. Yeah. Just because you didn't sign a piece of paper to hand to the government to say we're married doesn't mean... Maybe perhaps you're not legally married. He's always cheating. They have five children together. That's the pattern you've accepted to live with. Yeah, you either continue to live with it, fix it, or leave it. Those are your three options. Decide which one you're going to do and start working on it. At this point, I would say the only option is leave it. Except the older he gets, the options to cheat are fewer and fewer. Yeah, do you want him when he can't function? (laughs) <laughs> I if I want if I had a partner I'd want him when he's at his prime so we can live together so when he can't function at least I will live happy knowing that we had good times and I don't mind taking care of him but I don't want him when nobody else wants him <laughs> sure me don't want him then well, I want him when he can choose other people but chose me I don't want him when he can't choose other people so yeah. I'm, he's stuck with me when when, when you're the only him. option in his life I don't want him then so if he does not choose you leave him if you have the option to go away and start your life over it doesn't matter you know you're not dead you're still alive i would hope that 29 years five kids they're all grown already live you have been alive for the past 29 years in this marriage but you have not been living if he's not willing to change don't kill yourself over it if he's not willing to counsel it to strength forget him i know that you had a lot to play in it in terms that you tolerated it for 29 years yeah. but that's that aside this is your reality at this moment decide what you're gonna do you know some things i pray never happen to me i pray that i never fall so blindly in love that i will sacrifice my own happiness for somebody else's and Sitting on this side of the table, it might seem, oh, that can't happen to you once you have your brain in order. No. It's funny. You see the craziest things happen. Because the the heart, when the heart and the mind are in conflict, there's no telling who's going to win. Boy, I pray to God my mind always (laughs) win. Always. Because your mind is what it's designed for. I want my mind to win. All the time. Sometimes you have to feed the heart, though, too. Understandably so. Not more than the brain. <laughs> Gosh, I could hear I could hear people watching me thinking, hmm. But it's true. If you're in love with somebody, he has to be equally in love with you. She has to be equally in love with you for it to be good. Anything less than that is not good. Well, there's a, an old saying that I've heard. He who cares least about the relationship controls it. And that's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. But that, it's true. <laughs> no. It does not have to be true. But it is true. No. If you don't care about the relationship and I realize you don't care about the relationship and I care about the relationship and I care enough about me to realize that I know you don't care enough about this relationship, you will go because I can replace you anytime or not anytime at some point in time with someone that cares equally. But that ends the relationship. And that's okay. 
But as long as the re relationship continues, whoever cares least is going to control it. Then don't get into a relationship when as soon as you realize they don't care let them go because you will cry for one minute or three days or two weeks and my maximum is two weeks by the way you cry for two weeks and after that you're over it if you stay in it you'll be crying for the next 15 years you might cry in 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 smaller intervals you might cry today don't cry for the next three weeks or the next three months but you will cry for the next 15 years i say one big cry and get out the way there you go don't you think but there'll always be the next one there to break your heart well, it's tough. It's funny, right? The older you get, the more relationships you find yourself getting in and out of, the more difficult it is for your heart to be broken. And that's unfortunate again. Because it, it takes so long for you to invest your heart. <laughs> you know, you get in, you look at it, you think about it. It's not like you jump. First, when you're younger, when you're in your 20s, you're jumping with your heart. Get in your 30s, you're jumping with your heart and a little bit of your brain. By the time you hit your 40s, you're jumping only with your brain. Mm-hmm. If things don't make sense intellectually, you won't let the heart go. <laughs> it makes sense. I tell you what, keep that. That's food for thought for today. There you go. All right, Drew, it's time for us to wrap up. How's that? Let's go visit the locals in Boom. That's right. Guys, until next time, I encourage you to take care of yourselves and each other. This is Rhonda Crichton along with Drew. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye.